Welcome to NC Wine Snobs as we savor the world one sip at a time. In this episode of NC Wine Snobs on Vacation, we visited Richmond Farm and Brewery in Bangor, Pennsylvania. All right, so here we are in uh, Pennsylvania still, this time visiting Richmond Farm and Brewery. And uh, yes, yeah, so a fun fact, in addition to doing uh, beer this time around, uh, they've actually also make their own birch beer and their own root beer. So uh, craft fun for everyone. Mm -hmm. Bring along the kiddos and and uh, let them have some uh, some craft soda while we're at it. So our uh, first item up is called Gone Country, and it is their uh, Pilsner. Nice amber color. Clean, light, no funky flavors. A little malty. There's kind of bready toast mm -hmm. nose to it. Yeah, some biscuity kind of flavors in there too. Mm, that, that's nicely balanced too. I don't get much in the way of hop. There's just enough in there to, to keep it nice and balanced. Mm -hmm. But it is not going to be hop forward by, uh, by any stretch. And we really wouldn't expect that for a Pilsner anyway. Not sure that's a, a you know, jump off the lawnmower and and, uh, and drink it. I think this is more of a, a sit down and, you know, have it with a meal. Good pizza beer. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And gone. So, uh, yeah. Gone from country. Uh, it's gone. gone. <laughs> All right, so next up is Cowtail Brown Ale. It is definitely brown. Has a little bit of a head on it. it smells nutty. Kind of like pecans that you've thrown in a skillet to kind of toast up. A little bit of creaminess, a little sweetness, and then it's just nutty. Toasted pecans for sure. Yeah, malty, you get a little bit of that uh, dark brown sugar, burnt sugar, dark caramel. Mm toffee kind of going on. If you like a nut brown ale, this is a good one. I have to say, when I saw it on the menu, I was <laughs> very much drawn to it because I like my brown ales. So the, uh, the next we're going to try is their Frosted Citrus Wheat Ale. Now wait, wait till I read the description to you. Okay. Hazy wheat ale made with frosted mini wheats. Hmm. So Looking at it, go. it looks like Country Time Lemonade. <laughs> yeah. But it's probably not. They're not sponsoring us. Sweetness and citrus on the nose. There's a little bit of funk on the nose too, which mm -hmm. is kind of interesting. Well, it's not the only place the funk is. <laughs> All right, well, let me start off by saying it in no way, shape, manner, or form tastes like frosted mini wheats. But it does have an underlying cereal flavor to it. There's a, there's a, Bright, citrusy, and maybe a little bit of lime, maybe. You know, a squeeze of lime would kind of bring out mm. flavors. Yeah. You kind of get the brightness of the citrus without the juiciness of it. Mm. It's like you, you're expecting it to turn sweet, and it doesn't. I'd say some lime, maybe some tangerine. Um, but Tan yeah, unsweet bit, tangerine. A little bit of a little bit of funk mm -hmm. in there too. Yeah. Yeah. My first sip of it, I was not digging it at all. I was like, no. But it kind of grows on me. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I would dare, definitely, you know, pair that with with food, mm -hmm. um, and, and have something to, to eat with it. But that's in a, uh, a squeeze different. of citrus in it. Of very some different. Sort. Yeah, that's very different. So we asked them what the uh, what their sort of signature, if they had one mm -hmm. here to kind of hang their hat on, what what would it be? And uh, they they hands down said mosaic masterpiece. So that's our next one. So this is a uh, uh, an IPA, and uh, what they consider to be their flagship beer. So um, orange citrus on the nose. Oh, lots of orange. Maybe a tinge of coriander. Mm. 
Yeah, so no no haze to that mm -mm. IPA at all. Oh yeah, grapefruit, um, orange, maybe a little bit of clove on the nose too. That's well oh, that's done. That's good. That is really good. I I can see why they said this was uh, would be their flagship. And it's an IPA without being a very bitter IPA. It it's really kind of that that citrus forward, and then that that middle kind of has that bitter pop. I like that. Yeah, that's that's a nice solid beer. It's got really nice. It's only be very easy to drink on its own, mm -hmm. uh, or with uh, with a meal. Definitely. That would, that would pretty much go with anything, I think. So now we move on to our the one dark beer that we're going to try today, uh, and that is the Maple Vanilla Porter. Full disclosure: as we're looking through the beer list, there were two that jumped out where I said these are going to be two of Sharon's, and, and it was this one and the next one. I won't spoil the surprise as to what the next one is just yet. Yeah, it, it's your maple syrup on your morning pancakes. Mmm. Very roasty, toasty. I'd say coffee bean. It smells more of maple than it tastes, but it has some creaminess to it. Oh, the maple's on the finish. <laughs> coffee bean forward. Maple finish. Give it an addition to the maple. I, I get a little bit of uh, kind of toast, kind of caramel, kind of mm -hmm. chocolate on the nose. Oh, yeah, I totally put that in my coffee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you spot on me some, some dark caramel, mm -hmm. uh, dark toffee type, type flavors in there as well. Yeah, maybe even a little molasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of bitter. Do you get the vanilla? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Again, on the finish with that maple. If so far, all of them have been really wonderful. The one that I was just not so sure of was that frosted citrus. All right, and now on to our sixth and final of the beers. This is the strawberry sour. Um, again, this is the one that, that as soon as I saw it on the menu, I had that's going to be one of Sharon's picks. Definitely strawberry. And maybe peach. It's not straight strawberry. Oh my, that's sour. <laughs> now that's the first sip. And in, in reality, we've been eating some quesadilla, chicken quesadilla in between the beers. So we really need more than one sip to kind of cleanse the palate and really figure out what it tastes like. And no, that's not an excuse for me to have more beer. <laughs> okay, second sip, I get more strawberry and some sweetness. Third sip. I like it. Yeah, I see what you mean about the, the strawberry and the, and the peach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah the, the first sip for me seemed a lot more sour. And by the time I got to the third one, there's a nice sweetness there, too. It's not straight sour. It's not straight pucker up. I mean, it's not an in-your-face strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely more strawberry, more, more peach on the, on the aroma than in the taste. But it's, it's there. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 it, and it lingers. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. hanging out in the background. Yeah, that's another good one. I, this, this actually, I think this could stand up on its own. Mm -hmm. It would be something you could sit down and, and sit. And that's it. Two non-alcoholic brews mm -hmm. and six beers. Now, their menu is a lot more extensive than that, and we were being selective because we are being responsible in how we drink. And, and in terms of the, the, um, the root beer and the, the birch, both, both are also very good. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, I mean, the root beer is not going to be confused for any commercial brand of, of root beer by any means, um, but it's, it's got some good balance of flavors, not, not particularly strong, um, in terms of the root beer flavors, but it's, it's definitely there. Um, and then the, the birch beer, you know, much the same. I mean, it, it, you can tell it's birch beer, mm -hmm. um, but again, it's not that, that sort of uh, in your face. And neither one of them is, is like a, a syrupy, sweet um, kind of soda either. They're, 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 uh, they're both really, really well done. And so, uh, yeah. 
And, and for those of you who like your root beer with a kick, an adult kick, please stay tuned for our review of Nomad Distilling, where we had a root beer flavored alcoholic beverage. It reminded us both of Dad's root beer without the carbonation, but the flavor was completely there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on.